Hey hey welcome back to free software tips. So today I'll be showing you another video tutorial on how you could boost your FPS on Valorant. So without further ado, let's get started. So first the most obvious one is to simply open up the Valorant game and be sure to click on the settings button and hit the settings option right here and it will be showing you the general tab by default and go to video settings and hit the graphics quality options and set the multi-thread rendering to on and material quality and all these quality settings right here to low and the vignette you can off that one and v-sync turn that one also off and the anti-aliasing set that one to none anti tropic filtering make sure to set that one to the lowest setting and improve clarity you could set this one to on or off but i would prefer and suggest to just leave it off to reduce the gpu load on your device you could leave the bloom option on and leave the distortion and first person shadows to off once done close the settings and close your valorant game first next we're going to go to the start menu and look for display settings once that this display settings window is now open scroll down until you see this um, graphic settings option right here click on the browse under the choose an app to set preference then locate your game um, folder for Valorant and look for the Valorant the DXE um, executable application under the Valorant live folder and hit the add button click on the options and set that one instead to the system default Make sure to set that to high performance. Close this window. Next, we're going to go to the start menu and look for control panel. And open that one up and click on the system and security. And under the system, click on the advanced system settings. Under the performance tab, click on settings. Click the adjust for best performance radio button. And under the advanced tab, be sure to set this processor scheduling to adjust the best performance of programs rather than background services once done hit the apply button and okay next we're going to go to our battery icon right here or just simply search on the start menu power options if you're taken to this power and sleep settings just simply scroll down until you see this additional power settings and then make sure that you have chosen the high performance power plan and click on the change plan settings click the change advanced power settings Scroll down until you see this processor power management and under the maximum processor state, make sure to expand that one and set both of this one to 100%. Could also just leave it since I'm using a battery or a laptop. That's why they, this has two options. But if you only have one, just simply set that one to 100%. Next, if you have this AMD power slider, since I am using a um, Ryzen laptop, powered laptop. So just simply set this um, on battery and plug in to best performance. Once done, hit the apply button, no okay, game, and close this window. Next, open up a file explorer and type on the address bar, percentage, app, data, percentage. Click on the app data to go one directory backwards and click on the local folder. Scroll down until you see this Valorant folder right here and open up the save folder. Under the config, you'll be able to see all these settings right here. So locate the folder that has this windows folder and has this configuration settings file locate this game user settings configuration file once you're able to find that one um open that one up and scroll down until you see this scalability groups and set the resolution quality to 90 or 85 percent depending on your um, preference you may set this one lower however the lower you set this one the more blurry the game would look like so i would suggest is if you could leave it to 95 or around 90 that would be a most suggestible one without losing much of the quality of the game. Once done, you can now close this one and be sure to apply all those settings to all folders that has that particular game user settings since it will create a different folder depending on the accounts that are being used on your computer. You can now close that folder and restart your computer and see if that would improve your FPS on Valorant. So thanks for watching. If this video will help you, don't forget to leave your comments and feedbacks down below. And like this video if you found this one helpful. And if you haven't subscribed on this channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification to get updated with the latest tips and tricks on this channel. So till then, see you again on my next video.